Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. Just to let you know, I already have my brows filled in with my ABH Dip Brow. I will have a brow tutorial coming soon. Just to jump straight into the eyes, I'm taking the Deluxe Crease Brush by Real Techniques and I'm going to dip that into the Tartlet palette. I'm going to be taking the shade Supermom and just dusting that all over my lid. I've already laid down a layer of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just to prepare my lids for the shadow and I'm just using this to set it basically. Now taking the base shadow brush by Real Techniques, I'm going to dip into the shade Force of Nature from the Tartlet palette. And I'm going to begin blending it in the inner part of my crease and blending it out towards the outer part of my crease past my eyebrow just to fleek it out kind of like a wing. Now taking my Morphe M506 mini blending brush, I'm going to dip into the shade Dreamer from the Tartlet palette. And I'm just going to start blending that underneath the first shade we laid down just to add some depth into the crease. I'm being sure to bring that all the way down to that wing shape we kind of created with the first shadow. Now picking up that same deluxe crease brush, I'm going to take it with no product on it and just blend out the edges to be sure that everything's seamless. I'm also blending up these shadows a little bit higher up to my brow bone just to be sure we have enough room to create the double cut crease. Now again taking that Real Techniques base shadow brush, I'm going to go into Force of Nature once again and just blend it up a little bit higher to be sure that everything blends out nicely and it's up high enough to complement the double cut crease. And I'm of course bringing it all the way down to that wing portion that we've kind of created throughout this whole look. You of course want to be sure that wing shape is emphasized in order for this look to turn out properly. Now picking up this super old BH Cosmetics brush, if I can find it, I'll link it down below. If you've been watching my videos, you know this is what I use for all my cut creases, as well as the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm just going to kind of carve out that shape that we created with the shadows as close as possible. And you really want to take your time with this step and be sure that you're going up high enough so that the double cut crease will be successful. You'll see what I mean in a minute, but just be sure you're going up way past where your eye actually creases. And we're just going to blend that out all the way down just to be sure that we have a clean canvas to work with. Do your best to be sure that both eyes are as symmetrical as possible. To be sure that we have no creasing, I'm going to take my deluxe crease brush and just use that with the shade Supermom from the Tarlet palette to set everything in place. So I actually forgot to record footage of the next palette that I'm going to be using, but it's a palette that I got a long time ago, and it's called the Tarte Clay of Life Eyeshadow Quad, and it looks a little something like this, and I'm just going to be dipping into that silver shade to start out the rest of the eye look. I'm going to be using a Morphe MB26 Small Detail Brush to apply it, and I'm just going to start applying it to the inner corner of my eye. And as you notice, I'm not bringing it all the way up into the crease, I'm actually leaving that little space there to give us that double cut crease effect. Effect. Now using that same Morphe brush after cleaning it off a little bit, I'm going to dip into the shade Force of Nature and I'm going to blend it into that silvery shade we first placed down. Still keeping that space there that we originally created to give that double cut crease effect and I'm just going to blend it all the way down into that wing shape that we created initially. Now taking that same Morphe brush, I know I need to get more brushes, <laughs> I'm going to dip into that multitasker shade from the Tartlet palette and blend that into the last shade that we just placed down to create a gradient effect. You want to keep that space that we're leaving for the double cut crease look as clean as possible but when you're blending out the other shades it's okay to get a little messy because as you can see here we're just going to clean it up with a makeup wipe anyway and I'm also going to use some concealer to reinforce that sharp line. I'm using that same BH Cosmetics brush I talked about earlier that I use for my cut creases and I'm just using some Tarte Shape Tape as well to clean up that line. As always, I have all my products listed down below and linked so they're easy for you to find after the video. Now to clean up that gap, I'm going to use a Sigma E06 brush and it looks a little something like this just to clean it up and make everything look a little sharper. You don't have to do this, but I just want to be sure that everything looks neat and clean. And I definitely recommend doing this step if you want a successful double cut crease. And now on that same Morphe brush, I swear I cleaned it off, I'm going to dip into the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow in the shade Smoldering Satin. And I'm just going to put that on the inner half of my eyelid. And being very careful not to get it into that open section that we've been leaving because it's very easy for glitter to get out of hand sometimes. Now taking the Laura Geller Lash Boss Mascara, I'm just going to coat my lashes with this to prepare for falsies. When I was looking over my look, I felt like something was missing, so I just decided to add some black liquid liner to deepen it up a little bit. The one I ended up using was the Hard Candy Black Liquid Liner. I also just wanted to mention that's some leftover fake tan, if you were wondering. 
And now just taking my Morphe M416 brush, I'm going to dip into the shade Ebony from my Stila in the Light palette. And I'm just going to add that to the wing part just to deepen it up a little bit. As for falsies, I'm just going to apply these off camera. And now taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation, I'm just going to apply this all over my face. I'm not a huge fan of this foundation because it doesn't work well with my skin. For those of you who don't know, I have a really dry skin. So I'm basically just trying to use it up. And I'm just going to buff it in with the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Always remember to blend your foundation down your neck and into your hairline so that it's not so obvious that you're wearing it. And now taking my dirty beauty sponge that I got from Marshalls, I'm just going to blend that out further just to get rid of any brush streaks. For concealer, of course, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair and I'm just going to add that under my eyes, down my nose, and a little bit on my forehead. And then just taking that dirty beauty sponge again, I'm just going to buff it out. Now taking the Morphe M512, I'm going to dip into my Airspun Loose Face Powder and I'm just going to set all those areas that we put concealer on. Those of you who've been watching my videos know that I only set these areas and leave the rest of my face just foundation only because I don't want to lose that dewy look and I have very dry skin so this prevents any powder from sticking to my dry patches. To finish off the eyes, I'm going to take my Morphe M506 brush and dip into the shade Force of Nature from the Tartlet palette. And I'm just going to add that to my lower lash line. Using that same Morphe brush, I'm going to dip into Dreamer from the Tarlette palette. And I'm just going to add that into the outer corners of both of my eyes on the lower lash line. Just to deepen it up and make it look a little bit more intense. Taking the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease brush again, I'm just going to blend that out a little bit and make it a little softer. Now cleaning off that little Morphe blending brush that we used earlier, I'm going to dip into this purple shade from the Morphe 35B palette and I'm going to begin blending that into the inner corner of my eyes. Now taking my Morphe M416 brush, I'm going to go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild palette and pick up purple horseshoe and blue ice. And I'm just going to add that over top of that purple that we just laid down just to intensify it, make it a lot more popping and glittery in the inner corner. Now taking my Laura Geller Lash Boss Mascara again, I'm just going to to coat my lower lashes just to make them a little bit longer and more prominent. So now that the eyes are done, we can move on to finishing off the rest of the face. Taking my Real Techniques Multitask Brush, I'm just going to dip that into the Morphe 9C palette and pick up these two shades to start bronzing up my forehead and try to make it look a little bit smaller. Now taking my Real Techniques contour brush, I'm going to take those same shades and just begin to chisel out my cheeks a little bit and make it look like I kind of have some cheekbones. Now taking the Morphe M505 brush, I'm going to use this for my nose contour even though it's actually a blending brush, but I'm just going to use it for this and I'm just going to kind of go around the edges of my nose and give it a little bit of dimension. Now taking my Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight instead of Celestial for once and I'm going to put these on the high points of my face. And then I'm just going to blend it out using the warmth of my finger to give a natural finish. Now taking the Sigma FO3 High Cheekbone Highlighting Brush, I'm going to dip into the Flexitarian Highlighter of course and just apply that over top of the Cover Effects Drops. Taking this old BH Cosmetics brush, I'll link it down below if I can find it. This is what I like to use to apply highlighter to my nose, just to be a little bit more precise with it. And then taking this a very old blush brush that I've had forever, I think I got it at Walmart. I'll link it down below if I can find it again. And I'm just going to take this Too Faced blush and apply it to my cheeks for some color. Next, I'm going to take the Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color by MAC in the shade So Me, which is like a really pretty taupey color with purple hues, and I'm just going to add this onto my lip. And that is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.